Hi, welcome back to Top Italy Experience for Traveling Tips. As you can see, you can't have it all. Today it's raining, but we are in an amazing place. It's called Corinaldo and we are in the province of Ancona in the region Marche. And Corinaldo is considered as one of the best preserved and most charming villages in Italy. You can experience a walk on the walkway of towering walls which are 912 meters with defensive towers and bulwarks. Corinaldo is a rare example of medieval town with defensive walls of 15th century that are totally intact and still beautiful. Another attraction of Corinaldo is this stairway, 100 steps, that go down and, as you can see, it's a very scenic view. Going down halfway, we are going to see the Pozzo del Polenta, it's the Well of Polenta. It refers to a legend when Corinaldo was under siege and they used to pick up a bucket with polenta to feed the population. As every village has some places with typical food and here we are in a very particular shop which is called Corinaldo Tipica and it is uh, run by three girls, Laura, Valeria and Lucia and it's very interesting because they offer all the suppliers some uh, sales accounts so they bring their products but they don't have the risk of not selling it all. This part they call it the salty part and it has some typical products you have like beans and um, things of pumpkin and here you can see some interesting mixtures like oil with lemon and rosemary and here it's with mint and parsley and then just to tell you about that they're trying to underline the importance of the region you have also barley that it's marchigiano so as i told you we're in the marca region so it's really just to talk about the richness of this region i was instantly attracted by this angle because it's the part dedicated to truffle and uh, marca region is also famous for truffles and you can see that you have plenty of products that use it here And a nice story that uh, the owners of the shop were telling me about is that um, time passes, generations change, but something very nice that is going on here that um, grandfathers, fathers who were farmers once, now the new generation is more educated, started to study even more enology or food process and they are using what they learn from their grandfathers and fathers to put it now into modern things and we're talking about wines, we're talking about honey and many like genuine products that are becoming um, routine in another way and there is also even about saffron we have some uh, new generation that is taking care of this so I think it's very cool and a nice project is this idea Terra di Fratula, which is uh, three locations, which are Senigallia, uh, Corinaldo and Monterado, that put together their forces and also their uh, local products. The funny thing is that before I had coffee in a local bar and talking with the owner, he was telling me about Moretta which is uh, some kind of liquor that he said that more in the part of Fano, the fishermen used to drink before they went into the sea when it was very cold just to get something warm. And now here when I came to this shop, Corinaldo Tipica, I found it. And uh, as you can see, it's um, 
very interesting because in Italian you have a thing called caffè corretto, which is normally coffee with a bit of liquor. And here it's the inverse because first you put moretta and then you put very hot coffee inside and they say that it's even some kind of energetic thing that you can use during any time of the day. The village has also other stories that are rich in charm and humor. One of them that is called Città dei Folli, which means the city of fools. Not in brain sick sense, but because of people shrewd, cunning and irreverent that were capable to face different difficulties of life with intelligence and brilliance. Corinaldo is an important destination for religious pilgrimages because it's the birthplace of Saint Maria Goretti. She was sanctified in 1902 and here in Corinaldo you can find her birthplace and also a church that houses her relic. The well is also connected to an event that takes place every year in the third week of July for three days and it's a feast. It's a medieval theme character feast with jugglers, flag wavers, acrobats and ladies and it's called Contesa del Pozzo della Polenta. Talking about feasts, remember, you can consider Corinaldo also for Halloween, as they have the Feast of Witches, with the election of Miss Witch. So this was Corinaldo, under the rain, but still very charming. And see you soon for another clip. If you don't want to miss our videos that we put online every second week, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And uh, see you soon. Bye from Top of the Experience.